Hi guys, Larissa Nelson here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you my everyday summer makeup routine. But before we get into that, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Lancome and Magic Links for partnering with me on this video. This is a Vogue inspired video, you guys. I'm not really on Vogue, although hopefully one day I will be. So I'm gonna be demoing one of my favorite tie-in foundations that I have ever used, which is the Lancome Tint E Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. So let's just go ahead and get started. I have already oiled, put oil underneath my eyes. That's a beauty tip I have for y'all. If you have super dry under eyes like me, you definitely want to apply a facial oil underneath your eyes before you put on concealer. Now let's do the foundation. So this is going to be super quick and easy. Like I said, this is my everyday summer makeup routine so i'm taking a couple of pumps of the lancome tint e doll ultra wear foundation i am in the shade 500 suede w i think i actually wore this foundation in my last video and was raving about how wonderful it is the reason why i love it so much is because it has a matte finish which is amazing for the summertime because i live in hot North Carolina and these summers ain't no joke. I'm currently deep conditioning underneath this scarf so that's why I have it on right now. This foundation is so long wearing. It stays put all day. You guys, this is really one of my favorite summer foundations to reach for. It is transfer and humidity resistant, which is, I mean, who doesn't want that in the summertime? Hello. It is a full coverage, but it's still breathable, which is what I love. I just, this foundation, you can't find a better foundation for the summertime, seriously. It's full coverage, it's lightweight, it's breathable. It wears for 24 hours. I find that when I wear this, I rarely have to touch up my makeup throughout the day. I mean, I don't really touch up my makeup anyway, unless I've been wearing it for a while and you know, I have somewhere to go later on. I mean, look at that. Smooth, even, seamless coverage. I didn't even have to spot conceal. And I did have a breakout on this side of my face because yeah. <laughs> This foundation also comes in 50 shades. Super diverse, we love a diverse brand. I seriously cannot say enough good things about this foundation, look at that. Ugh. I have some good news for you. Lancome is currently in their friends and family sale which started on May 18th and it runs until May 30th. So you can receive 25% off of Lancome's entire website and if you sign up you can receive 30% off. So that's a good deal. So if you want to save some coins off, girl, head to Lime Combs website. I will have a link down below in the description box. You need this foundation for the summer. Okay, trust me. All right, let's go in with some concealer. I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And just put a little bit underneath my eyes and my forehead. So I'm the center of my nose and bling, girl. Another tip for you, when you're blending your concealer, you wanna make sure that you stay right in the center and don't bring it out. Because if you do, it's gonna make your face look wider and everybody wants their face to look slimmer, right? And then I'm going to take the excess on my chin. All right, now I'm going to set that with my Danessa Myricks Evolution Setting Powder. My face is so extremely dry right now. I've been using Retinol, which is my new beauty favorite, and it dries my skin out very badly. All right, let's do some quick bronzing. I'm going to use my Morphe. Um, this is their face palette one of my favorite complexion products and i think i'm gonna go in with this shade right here but it is a little dark okay so i'm gonna try not to go overboard
now I'm gonna do my jaws carve out my cheeks a little bit and in the summertime you probably won't catch me uh, carving out my contour or my bronzer just because I like to look super bronzed and just really like bronzy <laughs> in the summertime. All right, I'm gonna do my brows really quickly. My favorite brow pencil is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I have two really good eyebrow tutorials here on YouTube on my channel. And so if you wanna watch those, I'll have them linked in the description box for you. Ooh. Now, when I am doing a quick face like this, I normally opt out of carving out my brows unless, you know, I'm taking pictures or something. Um, and shoot, I usually don't even use a brow gel when it comes to this because, I mean, that's just an extra step. All right, let's do something with the eyes. I'm gonna use that same bronzer that I used for my contour shade. And just pop that into the crease of my eyes. And then I'm just gonna connect it to my nose contour. And this is gonna give my eyes some more depth. Okay, so I have a really cool product here. This is Becca Cosmetics Light, Light Gleam Primer and Topper Liquid Eyeshadow. So this is actually a duo-sided product. So one side is a primer or your base, and then the other side is the eyeshadow topper. I'm just gonna use the eyeshadow topper because I don't really need to use the base. And I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. Look how pretty that is. Ah! It literally just makes your eyes look kissed, like wet, you know? Now I'm going to take my finger and just dab it. And that's all we're going to do for the eye. Now I'm going to line my waterline with a black eyeliner. This is from L'Oreal. I love how eyeliner just makes me come alive. Ugh, I love a good black eyeliner. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. This is Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara, one of my favorites. Now I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Powder and I'm just dusting away any excess powder that might be on my face and I am setting my Lancome foundation. Alright, now it's time for blush. I love blush. It's one of my favorite steps in my makeup routine so I'm just gonna stick to my Morphe palette and use this shade right here and for this I actually saw makeup by Ariel do this technique and I'm just going right underneath my eyes I've been doing this lately and I'm obsessed it literally gives you like a baby doll flush of color look at that Ugh, so good now for my highlighter i'm gonna use becca's topaz highlighter this is one of the brown girl staples okay it's not just me okay it's not just me all of us makeup connoisseurs who are brown girls love uh, some becca topaz look at that i'm gonna put some on the bridge of my nose Ooh. When the sun hits, it's gonna hit, okay? And it's gonna blind everybody in the way, and hopefully there are no car crashes. All right, now, one of my favorite lip liners is Max Chestnut, and I did get a new one. Okay, so we're just gonna use that. Now I'm going to use my lip color. This is the Lip Bars Coral Friend. I 
think this is their matte liquid lip. Stunning, let me show you. And just take my finger and blend it out. Look how pretty that lip color is, oh my goodness. Now we're gonna top it off with some gloss. I cannot go out of here without gloss, okay? This is just some clear, regular, regular lip gloss. And then the last and final step is to go in with some setting spray. Today I'm gonna use my Anastasia Dewey Setting Mist. And this is just because And the reason is because I don't like my face to look super duper powdery. And so to kind of counteract that, I will use a setting spray that is not necessarily oil control. And this dries down beautifully as well. All right, you guys, so that is it for my simple summer makeup routine. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, why don't you consider coming back? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much again to Lancome and Magic Links for partnering with me on this video. And if you guys are interested in the Lancome Tinted Doll Foundation, which you should be, after watching what you just watched. Make sure you check the description box because all of the appropriate information that you need will be there. And also, there will be a link to Lancome's website, which again is 25% off and 30% off if you sign up. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Bye.